The subject matter you are about to watch is a dramatization of fiction. You are in no real danger. If you are sensitive to this subject matter, click away now. You are called by your boss to investigate a disturbance at the workplace. Cameras on site have picked up a group of unidentifiable persons in and around the parking lot. You are tasked with investigating the issue on site. This is one of the scenarios that could play out. Imagine yourself walking down a long corridor. The lights go out. You stop, a loud noise is heard just behind you. You're not sure what it is. You carefully and quietly walk forward. An exit sign above a doorway flickers intermittently in the distance ahead of you. You get about 30 feet away from the door and the door starts to open. The noise makes you unsettled. You run right into the adjoining corridor and hide in a room about 10 feet away. The noise you hear is what you describe is a high-pitched snarling. You know it's not human. The door opens and makes that metallic squeal and the steps you hear are slow and deliberate. You wonder if it heard you run into the room nearby. The steps you hear get louder, it's searching, looking. You put your hand in front of your mouth to conceal your rapid breathing, trying to remain as quiet as possible. You hear the steps stop and they get quieter as it moves away. You let out a deep breath of relief and smile, thinking that was a close one. However, as you think you're in the clear a shadow on the far wall of the room starts to move. You let out a gasp in terror. The lights from outside the facility illuminate a portion of the floor in front of you. While looking down you see a screwdriver on the wall to the right. The shadow begins to grow in size and gets closer. The room is about the size of the classrooms you remember back in high school. The shadow makes the same kind of noise as you heard on the outside. You bend down and grab the screwdriver in a panic. You place one hand on the door knob to get ready to bolt out of there. Your hand is in striking position, waiting for the entity to get in range. Suddenly, it roars in that same high-pitched snarl and rushes you. You stab it, open the door and sprint to your left. The entity roars in the and you stand for a As you enter the corridor once again, dozens of high-pitched snarl footsteps start chasing you. You are running for your life. About halfway to the next exit door the lights in the facility flicker back on and you glance behind you. These things are bipedal in nature, with a slender frame, but have big jagged teeth and their hands have massive claws. The only thing you can think of to describe it is akin to a high thrall in destiny. You run through the exit and slam the door shut. You don't know what to do. You look left and right. You see a ravine to your right and run down it and lay flat on your stomach, it is full of debris and has a foul smelling odor. You don't move a muscle. The door opens and subtle snarls and grunts are being heard as they disperse in different directions. The terror you feel consumes you, you think you're gonna die. But then, the steps move off and they get farther away with each passing second. You wait about a minute and it seems silent once again. You think you've done it, you start to sit up and take a break. A faint smile grows on your face. Just as you take a breather and collect your bearings, one of those things is down with you in the ravine. It just watches you making a skittering sound. It creeps ever so closer and closer, almost silently. Just as you hear something isn't right, it's too late. The last thing you see is the jaw of wide open, giant teeth, and the hand of its massive claws bearing down. <sighs> a 
Unfortunately, you met your demise but don't fret. There are a number of different scenarios where you could have succeeded. But that's it for me for now here on Short Stories. Goodbye.